Good morning, everyone. It's Julie. Um, I am so excited to get on here today and try out some new products that we just got in. Um, as you may have heard, we are going to be launching um, three new highlight slash foundation shades on July the 7th, which is our customer appreciation day. Um, there will be giveaways. There will be more new product launches. So I'm really excited about that. And there will be a special promotion just to say thank you to our clients. So that will be, I believe, next Friday, <clears throat> July the 7th. So artists or consultants that work for Saint were given the opportunity to get a head start on trying these new colors. So only artists were allowed to um, obtain the new shades. So I did go ahead and purchase the new shades. This is my palette. Um, this is the Black Demi 18. And I love this one. You can fit, um, let me think here, you can fit nine full size shades in this palette or 18 half size tins and everything is on one layer now this is just the black saint palette which is beautiful but um just wanted to share this with you as you may have seen i've been um, creating my own designs on some of my saint palettes that have gotten a little bit banged up i've had them a long time instead of throwing them away why not use some of your creativity to do some art on the um, the cover so here i have uh, my black pro palette which is now this gorgeous shiny lacquered um, alcohol ink surface it's kind of big so it's hard to really see what's going on here <clears throat> but it opens up and you have three layers there's a middle layer there and um, basically I will be posting a how-to video on how I did this. Um, so this just shows you that you can do art on any color palette. <clears throat> it could be the white Chateau palette or the black. The black was a little bit more challenging to do, um, but it is possible. Um, you don't have to do alcohol inks. You can do some kind of archival marker, like a paint marker, or an alcohol marker, um, any of those things will work. And I actually <clears throat> have changed my mind regarding sealing the materials onto the surface. I do recommend sealing. So here I've used a um, product called Krylon Kmar Finish, and it is a varnish, and you spray three coats, and this will keep your alcohol inks from um, spreading or moving it'll kind of fix them in place and then um, I went in with a UV resistant spray which will keep the colors bright and fresh looking and they will not fade and then I finally chose my choice of lacquer finish I did the Krylon triple thick um, clear coat now on my next project I, I think I'm going to kind of restore this palette here. I'm going to keep it pink, but I'm going to do some more blooms of alcohol ink and similar shades maybe on this one and kind of renew this one a little bit. But I think I'd like to try some kind of pour on clear coat, which is going to give you a really thick enamel epoxy like finish. This is beautiful, but you can kind of see a little bit of texture um, on there because it's a thinner coat. Okay, but it's very shiny and very beautiful. Okay, I know I'm going to get probably when I do my in persons, clients are going to be looking at this and going, Hey, how can I get that palette? It's absolutely gorgeous. Kind of like a, a galaxy look almost. All right, so let's get started. Let's try some of these newer products. So, in my palette here, which is the palette that I have been going to recently. I have all of our new shades that we just launched. Saint is doing a great job of launching shades or colors of foundation that have more of a cooler or neutral undertone. Um, as you may know, Saint believes that skin, you know, looks better with the warmth of their 
current or original shades, but sometimes we might have people that these colors pull too yellow on. So we needed some more neutral colors. Now Athens, which is one of my favorite shades for my skin tone, it's a little bit too light now, but this is a great winter spring color for me. And Athens is neutral. So I always found myself kind of going between many different colors, trying to find that perfect color. And I think Athens is truly the perfect color for me. But in the summer, you know, I'm still kind of looking. I tried amber yesterday. I could very well use sandy. And that's just a lovely thing about this makeup. It goes on so smooth and creamy and just blends so effortlessly that, you know, you'd really have to cake it on heavy to really see, oh, this color just doesn't look good on me. So it's just less is more with this. So here we have um, Palace, which is going to be great for women who are lighter, maybe someone that has used um, Moonlit or um, White Peach, maybe even Candlelit, someone that wears that light of a color might be able to get away with this, but this is gonna be for our lighter folks. Um, and as you see, it's more of a pinky color which I think is beautiful on the skin. If you can get away with a pink, it really does add a youthful glow to the skin. This one right here is Hazel, which I'm gonna try today. Cause Hazel looks a little bit darker than Sandy. You can see it has more of an olive undertone. And then here we have Golden Hour. And Golden Hour is going to be for someone that needs something darker than Mango, but not so dark as Goddess. Um, and then we have our newest contour color, which is Cedar. I'd like to try on Ibiza, which is um, a color that has been re-released on our website. Ibiza, I believe is a semi-gloss. I'm not absolutely 100% sure, but it's a very light, beautiful mauve gloss, a little bit lighter than August, which is our newest color of the month. And then I have my favorite setting powder, Vanilla Dust, and I have some colors that are going to complement the palette I just showed you. You can see that those colors are present in this palette. So we're gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna start off, I have my skin prepped and ready to go, and I'm gonna start off with my blush bronzer brush, which I have been loving lately. Now I, if you know me, go back and forth between what tools I like best, for applying the foundation. But right now this one gives me a quick application and an airbrush application. So I'm gonna go into the hazel. We actually might try to use all of these. And I'm just gonna kinda tap the brush into um, the hazel. And I'm gonna focus on the darkest areas of my face. And hazel is probably, you know, too dark for the skin on my face, but it actually does match the colors on my shoulder. I have picked up some sun. Do you guys see the difference? My face that I've been protecting with sunscreen has a very neutral pinky appearance, but then yet on my shoulders, I pick up a lot of color. You see that? So that's what we're trying to do. We don't wanna go around looking like we have a pink head and a tan body. We wanna match that. So we just have to transition the color from our shoulder to our face, but without getting that dreaded line. So I'm just gonna kind of focus this um, in the cheek area first. We might have to go in and do a lighter color along the jawline. Um, we could also use a bronzer to help transition, our Bella Bronzer is a beautiful product for helping to transition between the neck and the face and even the shoulders. All right. So I am using Hazel. And it is going on really nice. The camera picks up a little bit more 
yellow or orange than what I'm seeing in person, just to let you know. Okay, let's kind of hold that up to my shoulder. You can see now things are starting to blend a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mix in some of this, um, what is it called, palace. I'm gonna use some of the palace. We might have to do a little bit of mixing of hazel and palace to get a good, oh yeah, that works perfectly. So another thing is um, a lot of artists have been used to having to mix colors to get the perfect shade. You can always mix colors. You can see that that kind of tones down that oranginess around my jawline. Okay, a little bit more palace over here. So palace is blending in on my skin. You would have thought that, you know, because palace is so light, it would be chalky on me and it's not. I'm actually gonna use Palace as my brightening shade under the eyes today. So on the perimeter of my face, I have Palace. Let's do a little, this golden hour right here on the areas where the sun would hit. Let's just do that. Just to show you how all of these colors really blend so beautifully. And it's really hard to um, get something that looks obviously the wrong color. I'm gonna take the fluffy end of the blush bronzer brush and just kind of go into golden hour and hazel and just do a light application on my neck. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch over to my contour brush and we're definitely gonna go in and, and clean all this up around the eye area. I'm gonna go into my contouring brush which is called the detail brush and I'm gonna use our newest color which is called Cedar. And I'm just gonna use one side of the brush and um, just draw a line from my ear towards my nose. So let me get that position. I'm gonna go to, from my ear towards the tip of my nose. Let me get that out of the way. And the cedar color, I can tell, is a little bit more on the warm side. It almost reminds me of Bella without the glow. When I looked at it in the pan, I thought it was Bella. <laughs> okay. So that just adds a natural warm shadow there. I'm gonna go on the other side from the top of the ear towards the tip of your nose. You can see how that really adds some definition on my face, which I've told you, I've shared with you that I have gained some weight and I am going to be getting back on Weight Watchers, which I love, I do love Weight Watchers. It works for me, but the thing is you have to count. And for me, that's not hard. I've just made up my mind that during the summer, I really just want to enjoy my kids. And they're gonna be, we're gonna be eating at a lot of places like Chuck E. Cheese and the water park and stuff like that. Um, I know that's just a bad philosophy to have. Like I'm gonna have fun with my kids and sacrifice my health, but I am going to be more disciplined once the school year begins again. Um, during the school year, I actually do fasting, which is not hard for me because I'm in such a hurry in the morning that I often will skip breakfast and just have some black coffee 
and uh, that holds me over nicely. And then at lunchtime, I'll have um, a tuna pack with maybe some fruit or a salad, maybe an avocado. I love to have an avocado in hand and a tuna pouch. I lost a lot of weight doing that and Weight Watchers together, just fasting in the morning. And it was about, what, a 16-hour fast? And then I do my home chef or my, let's see if I can get over here. This is a weird angle. Home chef or every plate for dinner. And, I, and, they, and those meal plans come ready to cook. You just throw everything in the pan or in the oven and it's ready. And they give you a card with all the calories and fat and all that so you know how to translate that to Weight Watchers. So with Weight Watchers, you know, you hear that after 30 you can't lose weight. Well, with Weight Watchers, I had no issue. It would just come off. So I'm about 50 pounds heavier than my lowest weight right now. All right. So cedar is more of that warm tone. If things pull too cool on you, your contour looks gray or ashy. This is a good one. Okay. So now we're going to go in with some brightening. I'm actually going to use Palace as my brightener because it has that pinkiness which I love under the eyes. So let's go in right in here. And that's going to be a really nice brightener. As you can see the difference. And then I like to put a little bit on the outer corner. And we're going to use this on the lid. This is one of my favorite brushes, the smaller end of your detail brush. We'll do a little bit of this down the center of the nose. Right here in this little V here, this V area. So normally I do use Demi, which is our color correcting waxes. I use those products around my eyes, but I just thought since we had this new color, this, um, collection of colors, Palace and Hazel and Golden Hour, that I would go ahead and just try them all. And right now I have all of them on my face. I'm taking Palace still and just going in. I'm looking in the camera and seeing what areas kind of need that brightening above the brow. Okay. Just flatten out this part of the cheekbone, a little ledge there. All right, it's beautiful. Beautiful colors are really, as you can see, everything blends. Really gorgeous colors actually together too. Let's go ahead and throw on some brows. Now, normally I will use my Um, let's see, this is Trust Eyeshadow. I had recently purchased a Christian Dior brow product. And to be honest with you, I actually prefer my Saint Eyeshadow on the brow rather than the Dior. It just looks very kind of harsh or something. We're just gonna do this over here, and then I'll show you kind of what 
the um, the Saint Trust does for me. So I just take my Saint brush in the Trust, and then I can go in and get very soft, precise application. Do you see the difference how soft that is? This is like huge. <laughs> so sometimes I like to just go out and just try to see if there's anything better, but often I, I'm very happy, very resolved to know that Saint is a very good product just to match them. Okay. Which eyebrow do you prefer? Just be honest. Just to match them, I'm going to use the Dior on both sides because I do like the Trust better, but we're just going to have to match. Some of you guys might like this fluffy looking brow. Okay, so this is match, I think. And Dior has lovely products. They're just a little bit out of my price range right now. And I just really love, you know, buying makeup and then earning back money for myself to buy more. I just love that. So that's why I'm a sane artist. It makes sense. I'm already purchasing their makeup. So why not earn, you know, money and free products? So if you are loving Saint makeup and you're a client of mine, please reach out to me. It is such an easy thing to do. A lot of people are intimidated. They think they're getting into this pyramid scheme and whatnot. No, I pay literally $12 a month to keep up my site and I have a link. I give it to my friends and family whenever they purchase something from my link on Saint's website, I get um, credit and it builds up. So it's a really great deal. And I would say, you know, there's not too many cost, not too many, um, not too many brands or companies that have such a great program like Saint does. All right, now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna take one of my favorite blush brushes, and that is the shape brush. I'm gonna clean it because I really want a pure application. I'm just gonna clean it on a tissue right now. My brush cleaner is all the way across the room. And we're gonna try Ibiza, which is right here. It's this beautiful pinky nude color. First, we're gonna try it on, and actually I might, let's set the makeup first. Let's go ahead and set with our blush bronzer brush with the vanilla dust. Let's set everything that we want to stay in place with the Vanilla Dust Powder. Just a light application all over. Wherever you put this powder, it's gonna help your makeup stay. Now we can go in and we can apply that luminosity with the blush. So I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just dab it on. It's very pale, but very pretty. Let's try it with the brush instead. This brush surprisingly gives you, oh yeah, a little bit more color payoff. Now, why am I using this light color? Well, the tanner you are, you can use lighter colors and they show up on your skin. If you're already light to medium, this is not going to show up unless you're very fair. So, Really, this is a light to medium blush that will not show up as good if you are light to medium skin. But if you are tan or really pale on both ends of the spectrum, then this will show up on you. And you can see this is just a really pretty pinky. It's a fresh pink, like a petal and just kind of airbrushes your um, cheeks. Now I'm gonna go in, we do have a lip liner called Suede, but just because I don't feel like going and getting it, I'm going to use the Cedar Contour, which a lot of women 
before we came out with our lip liner suede, they would use their contour. And let me tell you, this is a beautiful lip liner. Look at that, how natural the line is there. That's gorgeous. All right, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna use the shape brush, the smaller end with the powder and just kinda set the liner. Okay, now we're gonna go in and let's do, let's do something kind of creative. I'm gonna use the cedar in the inner corners of my lip. Because this is a warmer contour, it's not going to look dead on your lips. Okay, now we're going to do our pout. We're going to do our Ibiza. Right in the center. See if I can get some shine here. Yeah, this is a truly a semi gloss that is very pretty. Now, um, if I use my physician's formula gloss, it's going to turn it pink. I want to retain the um, the look of this color, so I'm going to go in and get my my balm here's the balm i'm going to take this work it onto my fingers it's very emollient and we're going to put just a tap of this here to give it more shine All right, so right now, just a very pale, muted look, but we're gonna do some really fun eyes today. I'm gonna get my eyeshadow brush right here, and I am going to go into some colors today that are gonna complement our new palette. So let's first go in, all right, um, golden shade here. Now let me see what that color is. That one is called Gold Digger. We're gonna go in and use Gold Digger with our eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna kinda of put this, I'm using the smaller end of the brush to place the color in the inner corner. And this is going to mimic the gold leafing that is present on the palette I designed using the alcohol inks. This is going to represent that gold leaf on my palette. Now I'm going to just take my brush cleaning tile, which is right here. These fit nicely inside of the palette, so I just happen to have it handy. It cleans out your brush. All right, now we're going to transition into this lighter teal shade, and this is called Bayou. Bayou or Bay, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do this kind of right here on the inner third of the eye. Come over here. And these eyeshadows are so creamy powder that they don't, I don't have any fallout from them usually. You can see there how beautiful that goes on. So let's go back to our brush cleaning tile and just clean out that shadow. And then we're gonna go into the beautiful, what is this called? 
Daba D, which to me reminds me of the colors in Greece, you know, the Mediterranean color, very summery. Let's put this kind of right here on the outer. And then I'm gonna flip the brush over and blend. So I'm keeping all the color underneath my crease. If we take it above the crease, it's gonna be too much. And I want to do um, a little bit of that on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? So you can see with these colors on the eyes, you can get away with these lighter cheek and lip colors. So it's a very balanced look. All right, now we're gonna go in and we're going to take, um, this is a demi brush, but I love to use this for eyeliner. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take our setting spray. And I just spray a little bit of the sp setting spray on the lid, okay? Then I'm gonna use this to make a liner from this color here which is the denim color. This is beautiful navy blue. And we're just gonna take our, this is the, uh, the spot brush, and we're gonna take this and just take that wet brush across the shadow. And now I can line and it's gonna stay. The stay spray will turn any eyeshadow into a liner. We do have a liner called Black Friday and we have some cream eyeshadows, which would be beautiful. And you can use them similarly. Isn't that really pretty? I know this look is not for everybody. A lot of people are not going to do their eyes like this. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really spend much time on my eyes anymore because I have these um, these lash extensions that I like to, to use, the Lilac Street lash extensions, make your eyes look so good, even when you don't have eyeshadow and eyeliner on. And now, look at the difference between the side that has the liner and the side that does not. So we're gonna do some liner on the bottom. And I love using like navy blues and purples in place of black. It really does soften the look a little bit. All right, now I'm going to go in and I'm gonna use this side of the brush actually to feather in a little bit more contour. And we can even use the cedar kind of in the crease here. Just using everything in my palette. And 
gonna use this brush cleaning tile just to kind of get any excess color off of that. Then we're gonna go in, do a little bit of more detail work right here on the nose. I have kind of a bump right there. It's kind of hard to, to get at it. Okay. And then finally, I'll take my finger into the setting spray. I'll pick up a little bit of this shimmer, which is called Graceland. It's a sparkle shadow. I'm just going to tap this right over the top to get a, a crystal shine. Love it. There we go. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we want to do? All right. I'm going to do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I just wanted to use one of these, um, these illuminators, which are very beautiful. I'm thinking that I want to use something with a little bit shine. Let's see, this one is called Pearl. Let's see, do I want to use the Pearl? Do I want to use a pinky? Let me do um, Chandelier. Not sure if this one is still available, but we're going to do it anyways. And I'm going to put this one right up here just to give it a glow, that pinky glow. You see that? It's really pretty. So we have some that have more of a, a golden glow. I even probably look like this right here. It's in the inner corner. These are our illuminators. You know, we have them in powder form and cream. The cream is just a little bit more subtle. Put a little bit on the tip of the nose. Okay. What do you guys think? Here, yes, here's Bella. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Um, I'm gonna go to the shape brush and add a little bit of the sun. See how that just adds a little bit more of an airbrushed bronziness. And you can do the Bella right here on the bones of your chest. Mm, I think she is very pretty. All right, so that's it, guys. This is um, the new, uh, this is a, a look using the new colors. And of course, I want to hold this up and see if we have a match with our eyeshadows to the palette that I created. Isn't that pretty? So I love this brand. As you know, it is so much fun. There's so many colors to choose from. Um, the makeup itself is such good quality. Um, I have compared it to many of the luxury brands that I have been used to using in the past. And Saint continues to um, just absolutely blow me away. They're on fire. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, of course, if you can't wait and you want to purchase something right now, then yes, you can. I'll share my link with you. But on July the 7th, we will have some things, which I'm not 100% sure about right now at this moment, what will be going on, but they have promised um, lots of fun and excitement. All right, so I will keep you in the loop of that. So everybody have a fantastic Sunday, and we'll see you again. Thank you so much for your business. Bye-bye.